New tonight, investigators are looking to, into a possible distracted driving after a deadly crash on Des Moines northeast side. An 11 year old boy died in the crash on I-8035 near Northeast 14th Street. That's where we find KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel. Todd, there's new information about a possible cause to this crash. Yeah, that's what investigators looking at. We're just next to Northeast 14th. You can see Interstate 3580 behind me here. Uh, there was one crash that actually turned into two crashes when traffic backed up here last night, but a semi truck driver didn't slow down fast enough. These Iowa DOT traffic camera images show a motorcycle crash just east of the East Mixmaster on I-80. This is where the trouble began. Traffic started to back up heading west on the interstate shortly after 5 o'clock. As cars and trucks slowed down, the backup stretched from the first crash site all the way to Northeast 14th on the west side of the Mixmaster. That's when the second deadly crash happened. I was struck from behind. I didn't see it coming. Wes Breckenridge, a former Iowa law enforcement agent, was driving along when a car slammed into him. A split second earlier, a semi truck slammed into the car that hit him. A semi ended up coming up at far too fast of speeds, ended up uh, colliding into the back of uh, not one vehicle, but then pushing that vehicle into another vehicle. So the uh, in essence, the center vehicle was uh, kind of sandwiched between a car and a semi. An 11 year old Grimes boy, Ian Vanalis, was in the middle car and died in the crash. His father was injured. Breckenridge was shaken up. He wonders if the trucker who allegedly didn't slow down was distracted. Realize how important it is to make sure that you're focused on what you're doing and not distracted. And as the traffic flow slows up, speeds up, uh, just be cognizant of that to be careful so we don't have a tragedy like this happen. The state patrol agrees. It's somebody driving distracted or somebody driving too fast and not paying attention of what's ahead of them. Now, the Iowa State Patrol says that the semi-truck driver is from Los Angeles, but he has not yet been charged. We're live in Des Moines. Todd Magel, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's News Leader.